innovative, amazing science. Let's Sanana. I believe and I hope that you are doing great. So am I. Today I'll tell you that why I'm so much interested to share this project with everyone. I still remember I was in my college and we were staying in the first story and that building was a four story flat. So every time we used to dry the clothes in the balcony sometimes and suppose if there are more clothes to be dried. So my mom and me used to go to the terrace and used to dry the clothes. So one day I was like out uh, for my uh, classes and all. So by the time I returned, all the clothes were wet because it was raining heavily. So my mom was also busy because she couldn't uh, notice when uh, it was raining because she was so tired and she took a short nap and by the time she woke up and she went upstairs to the terrace, all the clothes, all the bed sheets in fact were wet. So she was like thinking and saying me that I wish uh, there was some device or there was some alarm sort of thing which could give a signal so that we can run to the terrace and we can just uh, bring those clothes back when it is going to rain because she was uh, tired and she slept so she was blaming herself then after conversing with my mom i thought okay fine uh, if uh, she wants that and uh, recently i had gone through some of the articles wherein it was written about the projects about the sensors actually what you can create which will give you an alarm signal so with the help of my father i thought let us make a sensor or sort of some sort of alarm which will uh, be fitted to the room and when it is going to rain it is going to alarm or give sound so that if someone is tired or if someone is uh, like sleeping or something when the alarm will uh, give a signal then you can just rush to the terrace and bring off the clothes so i was super fascinated and even uh, we tried making that sensors and we were successful. So today I am here to share that activity with you so that you all also can make those sensors for your house, which is very economical. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the things required are, in a bowl I have taken some fresh water, fevicol, here you can see this model which is already prepared and how to make this model I had shown you in my last video which was related to earthquake sensor. Only one change we have to do. Can you see the top portion of the thermocol? It is facing this side. We are just going to make this like it should face the opposite direction. How to make this? You can just refer to my previous videos of earthquake sensor. I just keep this aside. Then I have used battery of 9 volt. This one is a battery connector. You can see battery connector. This is an electric buzzer and you can see the wires are already attached to it. This is the LED and here also I have already attached the wires. Then this is the on off switch. To this on off switch also I have attached the wires. Uh, you must be having that uh, a question in your mind that why the wires are attached. I have just attached it so that it becomes very fast for us to complete this. And these are normal wires I have taken. And this uh, is like two wires are already attached. Then this is a transistor. If you see it, I'll just show you. This is a transistor and it is a semiconductor. It is a general purpose transistor which is used for amplification. And normally there are two types of transistors. One is the PNP type and the other one is the N NPN type. But here for this experiment, we are using the PNP type. That means the positive, this one is a positive, this is a negative, and this is again the positive type of transistor we are using for this experiment. And transistor has got three parts. One is the collector, and this is the base. 
and this one is the emitter and this one is the resistance and it is basically used to resist the flow of the electric current to protect the equipments so it comes in various color codes and the one which i am using for this is uh, valued as 100 kilo ohms this is the resistance and of course we'll require two blades for this experiment and you have to be very careful while you are doing this experiment and uh, you should have a supervision of any adult or your parents while using this uh, blades and all my first step would be i'll just keep all these things a little bit aside and bring this one close i'll take this blade you have to be very careful while using the blade because it is super sharp and i'll take this long piece of wire okay so this orange portion i'll take and here you just put it and twist it be careful okay And I will take another blade and this yellow wire you have to put it and then twist it. Okay, now you can see my two blades I have fixed to the two wires. Now I'll take this blade and fix it here. So for that I require some glue. After I fix it properly, I'll just show you. I'll hold it for some seconds so that it fixes up properly. See, I have fixed it. I'll just show you how I have done it so that you get a clear view. Can you see? My blades are fixed properly and the wire is handy. And to this wire, to this end of the wire, I'll take this transistor. As I had mentioned earlier that this is the collector, this is the base and this is the emitter. So we are going to take this emitter portion and fix to this red wire and twist it around. Okay. So now you can see I have fixed the red one to the emitter and this green one is the base. So I will take this yellow one and fix to the base and twist it around. So now I'm done with fixing both the wires to this long wire. So my next step is I'm going to take this resistance and this LED. This LED is very delicate. So to protect it, I'm going to fix this resistance. So you can see the green wire which is the negative. One end of the resistance, I'm going to fix it and twist it. Okay. Now I'll take this buzzer. Okay. So to this buzzer, this red one, which is the positive end of the LED, I'm going to fix with the red one, the positive one of the buzzer and twist it.
and this green one I'm going to fix to the other end of the resistance and twist it. So now we are just going to fix if you observe carefully this red portions this is the positive end of the buzzer and the LED. So I'm going to take this as a whole and this is the end of the transistor and this is the collector and I'm going to fix it and twist it. Then I'm going to take this end. This is what? This is the negative end of the buzzer along with the resistance. So I'm going to take this and I will take the on off switch and to one end I'm going to fix this and twist it. So I have fixed the on off switch one end to this negative end of the buzzer and the resistance and the other end I'm going to fix it to the negative end of the battery connector the black one you can see I'm going to fix it to the negative end of the battery connector and twist it okay I'll just do it okay so I fixed the other end to the battery connector okay and this red one which is the positive end I'm going to fix it to this emitter part the emitter of this transistor part I'm going to fix it and twist it and once this is done, I'm going to take this battery connector and put it in the batteries. So now let me just keep all the things aside. I'll keep these batteries here and this transistor here. And this on off switch I will try to fix it on the thermocall. This is the electric buzzer. I will fix it here. And this is the LED. I will keep this here. Okay. So everything is at its proper place. So I am going to switch this on. Okay. So now I am going to pour some drops of water. So before that just assume this setup. To be your house and this portion this portion basically is your rooftop and on top of that we have just uh, stuck this uh, sensors which is nothing but your steel blades so this is acting as the sensor so when we are going to pour some fresh water that's a rain water what is going to happen let's just watch I'll take some drops okay so can you hear when few drops of water was put on the sensors, how it started to work? I'll just switch this off. Okay. So now you saw how we made this rainwater sensors, how this machine was made and when some drops of water fell on the sensor, how we got the alarm. So just before some time, we saw how this rain sensor device was working. So I'm going to show this once again. So before that, I'll just switch this on. Okay. I'll take this dropper this time. Few drops. It would be easy. So I'm going to pour this fresh water on the blades. So let us assume this as rain water. And let's see. Okay. Now, again, we could hear the rain sensors. But if suppose during the night it is raining and you want to see the bulb also which should be glowing. 
but here let's see uh, whether is whether our bulb is glowing or not so i'm going to switch my room's light and just observe carefully to the bulb because it is very small so it is not visible so i'll just switch off my mains uh, like lights from this room and this let's just observe wow that's lovely can you see that led bulb which is glowing that's lovely so now we have completed this experiment and it is fantastic so you can try this at home to make this rain sensors if you enjoyed the experiment do like it and do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell icon which is right there on your screen and if you wish to share your experience with everyone, do put it in the comment section or do write a mail so that in my upcoming videos, I can share your experience through an experiment to everyone. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.